Rule number one: Your childhood room will always be the safest place in this home. Rule number two: When leaving any room on the second floor, make sure to close the door behind you. You must do this without exception. Rule number three: Do not touch the stairwell painting. The paint never seems to fully dry. Rule number four: At times, a strange suitcase will appear at random points in the house. Do not touch the contents inside. It is always a trap. Rule number five: Only use the downstairs corner bathroom before 7 p.m. After then, the mirror will try to deceive you. Rule number six: Count every door in this home at the beginning and end of each day. If you come across a door you do not remember counting, do not enter it. Rule number seven: Take your prescribed medication every morning. A happy day starts with a healthy mind. Rule number eight: Clean up after yourself. We have an ant problem. Rule number nine: When taking the spiral steps to the third floor storage room, do not look up. Rule number ten: The phone in the downstairs lounge will only ever ring between 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. in the morning. Do not answer it. It is not for you. Number eleven: Shut the piano before bedtime. Number twelve: When tasked with polishing mother's antiques, avoid looking at them directly. And lastly, see this mirror in the downstairs lounge. Say you're alone and standing in front of it. In the reflection, how many people would you see? Remember, if you are by yourself, the answer should always be one. Rule number fourteen: Although these flowers are plastic, please water them daily. Rule number fifteen: Avoid using the jacuzzi room. The heating system will malfunction. It cannot be fixed. Number sixteen: Make sure to knock three times before entering the pool house. The guests in there don't really seem to leave. Number seventeen: Never stand directly under the chandelier. Also, do not turn it on between the hours of one to four a.m. The light will disturb the guests. Eighteen: In your old room, there is a storage compartment under the bed. Remember, do not use it to store anything that you would not be willing to part with. Nineteen. Before bedtime, place your slippers in an asymmetrical way, like so. Grandmother says this will help you run faster in your dreams. Twenty, checking under the bed will not help you. Twenty-one, do not turn on the fan in grandmother's room. Twenty-two, you may observe this painting only from an angle. Do not stand parallel to the canvas. Twenty-three, this is the shoe closet and this is the wine cellar. Be wary of your step; these doors have a tendency to switch. In 24, only go down to the wine cellar past dark. It is one of the few places in this house that grow calmer at night. 25. While your room is the safest place in this house, there is no guarantee you will be safe from yourself. 26. Leave your room for at least three hours a day. Sunlight is good for you. 27. On sunny days like this, politeness is a plus. If you see them waving at you, you must wave back. In 28, if you crawl inside the stairwell storage compartment and turn right, you will stumble across a tiny secret room in which the walls are covered with crayon drawings. Do not attempt to erase or clean those marks; they worked very hard on them. 30. On occasions, mother will tell you to prepare a mattress on the third floor. This only occurs when there are too many guests already in the main house. Thirty-one. At times, you may think you hear voices coming out of these vents, but remember, nothing they say is trustworthy. Thirty-two. Set constant alarms for yourself throughout the day. These ringtones will help you distinguish real life from your dreams. Thirty-three. If you ever hear knocking at your bedroom door, especially past dark, do not open it. Your mother would just call out to you. She does not knock. Thirty-four. Stop trying to convince your parents that there is something wrong with the house. Talking about it will just make them angrier. Thirty-five. If you wake up in the middle of the night to the sound of running water, it is not a dream. It means that they found their way inside your room. Keep your eyes closed, and you will be okay. Forty-one. Avoid any spots in this house that appear to fall on a spatial alignment. Forty-two. At times, you may think you see miscellaneous clusters resembling of mannequin parts. While they usually remain downstairs, it is important that you do not acknowledge their existence. Forty-three. Make a mental note of where important objects are placed, such as your shoes or keys. Forty-four. 
The measurements of this location's inside dimensions are impossible. This is also one of the few doors in this entire house that will, at times, disappear. Anything or anyone stuck inside during a vanishing will not come back the same. 45. When a cluster begins appearing upstairs, it is a sign that it has become hostile. In chance event, evacuate to an enclosed space with no more than one entry point. 46. Cut down on the number of iced coffees you drink in a day. Caffeine inhibits proper sleep. 47. Although the pool is rarely used, it must be maintained and cleaned weekly. 48. If you have forgotten to shut the piano before bedtime, do not panic. However, it is pertinent that you let it remain closed for at least 24 hours before using again. 49. There are going to be times in which you bizarrely wake up in rooms that you do not recall entering in the first place. Simply go back to sleep. You can expect to wake up normally back in your childhood room the second time around. Number 50. If and when you hear the sounds of birds chirping during abnormally early hours in the morning, stay a safe distance away from windows or doors. Do not look outside. Long time no see. Since the end of summer, your childhood room is no longer the safest place in this home. Also, when going down the spiral staircase of the third floor, always make sure to skip the seventh step. You might not hear the sound that it makes, but she most likely will. Also, it's probably a good idea to leave out some food for the guests living within the storage compartment. However, do not talk to them directly or even wave at them. They tend to make strange uh, dietary demands. And lastly, in regards to the doodles you put up on your new bedroom wall, remember that no matter how nice they seem, do not give them their names. For getting ready for Halloween, when tasked with urgent chores, avoid getting distracted on your phone. Also, our guests dislike displays of vanity. At various points, you may find framed pictures of families or individuals you do not recognize. Simply keep them face down. Recently, guests in the pool house reported the smell of something burning. Check the hot tub drainage system for potential blockages, and if needed, unclog whatever is stuck down there.